Hello, my name is Vic Lam, and I'm going to show you how to cut and uh, strip and make RG6 cables like a pro. So the first thing uh, you want to do is, uh, let me show you the tools. Uh, we have our Klein cable strippers, RG6. I have my DeWalt cable snips, cable cutters, right here. And I have my cable crimping tool by PCT. Right here, this crimps RG6 and RG11 fittings. And I also have my RG6 fittings right here. Right here, let's see if you can see that. And my RG6 wire, cable wire. <clears throat> so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna inspect your wire. So take your wire, look at it right here. I have a big dent right here. I don't know if you can see that. Well, this dent right here uh, can cause signal issues and, you know, can just mess with your frequency. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start right here on the cut. So I'm going to cut it right here where this dent is, where the damaged wire is. And uh, <clears throat> keep in mind, when you're cutting your, um, your cable wire, you want to make sure your cut is nice and straight. Um, so when you make the uh, fittings, everything's nice and flush on the inside. So when you cut this wire, make sure your uh, snips are nice and level with the wire before you snip it. You know, you don't want to snip it like this at an angle. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go a little bit below where it's damaged, and I'm going to snip it nice and level. Okay, let's see. I'm going to throw this uh, piece away. We don't need this. It's damaged wire. And then <clears throat> this is what you get. Nice, clean cut right here. So what I'm going to do is take my finger and just kind of squeeze it and round that back off all right and once that's nice and rounded and uh you know back to what it was i'll take my klein rg6 cable strippers um these are the best ones in my personal opinion um we have other ones that they offer at the shop but this is the best one and that's just my personal opinion um it's just faster it's smaller um you can get more rotations so let's so I'm going to take this uh, Klein cable stripper and I'm going to take the wire, I'm going to push it down, and I'm going to push the wire in till, till it's flush with the other side. Like that, it's pretty flush. And then what I'm going to do is you just stick your uh, finger in here and you, you just rotate it. So what I like to do is I'll start forward and then I'll go backwards. Um, just give it a couple rotations and then back forward and then you squeeze it down pull it out and then you pull the fittings off so not the fittings but the uh the excess whatever you we were stripping off so this is what the uh this is what it looks like after it, you're done stripping it so um when you're stripping the wire you want to be careful not to uh, do it too much where you're stripping the uh, braided shield which is this wire right here so, uh, you, you know, you want to keep it where uh, you don't want to strip this wire when you're doing it because uh, this helps with your signal. So, and <clears throat> basically what we do with this wire is uh, with the braided shield, we pull this back all the way back. Okay, just like that before we put our fitting on. And you want to take a look at the uh, center diameter. It's the white right here in the middle. And you want to make sure there's no... Um, you know, little pieces of this wire uh, wrapped around this metal stinger or the um, center conductor because uh, that'll cause major uh, signal issues um, and you just, you don't want that. So just take a little bit of time, make sure there's no, none of these uh, little wires uh, wrapped around your stinger or your center conductor. And then uh, once you've done that, you take your little RG6 fitting and you carefully Put it around the wire just like this. Push it in. I like to give it a little turn sometimes. And you push it in until the um, the center dielectric, it's it's the, the, the dielectric's the white part of the cable and the inside part. You want to make sure that's nice and level with the inside of the fitting. So once that's nice and level, take a look at it. Make sure there's no, um, you know, little pieces of wire or anything wrapped around there again. And so once you once you check that, it should be nice and clean and level on the inside. You want to take your 
uh, RG6, RG11, uh, whatever crimp tool you have. This is the best crimp tool in my personal opinion. So I take this and then put your cable in just like this and then you just squeeze until it stops. Give it a little pull, make sure it's on there and this is what a proper fitting looks like. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do the other side of the wire. And you know, the reason we do this is, you know, like say I wanna hook up a cable box or a, um, a modem, you know, and I wanna hook it up to the uh, coaxial that's connected to your wall into the cable box or the modem. Well, this is why we make these little, you know, five foot jumpers, three foot jumpers, uh, cable wire. So, okay, so here's the end of the wire that I just made. Let me cut this nice and straight and level. Cut that. Take your tool, squeeze it, make it round again. Let's see, put your stripper in there, nice and flush. And we'll just go ahead and rotate this. Squeeze it down, pull out, pull the excess off, pull your wire down, just like that. Make sure there's nothing around the uh, center conductor slash stinger. All right, it's looking nice and clean, nice and level. I'm gonna take the RG6 fitting. Let's go ahead and push this in just like this. Push it in, give it a little twist. Make sure it's nice and level in the inside. See, it's, it's sticking out a little bit, so I'm gonna pull it back a little bit. There we go. Nice and level. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is this center conductor right here. Um, you wanna make sure this is not too short or too high. Um, it, you want to have it, basically what we do is uh, in the industry we take two nickels, we put it on top just on top of the uh, rim of the uh, fitting right here and if the center conductor is taller than the nickels then you want to cut it down um, you know to the appropriate length. Um, I would say maybe about you want it to be about an eighth of an inch um, above the uh, above the cap, above the uh, the RG6 fitting. So you see about that, that's a pretty good length right there. So if it's too long, just take your snips, nice level cut, cut it down, easy. Take this, we'll take, put it in there just like this and just give it a crimp, check it. All right, let's, and this is what the, uh, the finished cable looks like, let me go ahead and roll this up right here, and this is how you make a cable, RG6 cable like a pro. I uh, hope you liked my video, click the like button, and um, thank you.